Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another big, exciting day in my kitchen. What are we making? I'm thinking hot, gooey cheese that we can dip stuff in. Doesn't that sound awesome? Guys, today we're going to Mama Boreal's kitchen. She would always make different types of dips and you know appetizers and we would always eat all that before dinner and then she'd get mad at us she'd be like oh you know save some room for dinner it's like how are you gonna save room for dinner like i just ate like a whole bowl of hot gooey cheese dip all right enough of the stories from memory lane so today we're gonna make a hot ricotta dip it's fun and it's easy and it's fast and it's good all right so let's go over ingredients let's start having some fun starting off with main ingredient our center stage we've got about three cups about 32 ounces of a whole milk ricotta cheese next we're going to have to add some more cheese so now we're going to add our parmigiano reggiano so here we're going to add about three quarters of a cup of grated parmesan reggiano if you can get it or parmesan cheese now guys we want to kick this up a little you know we want a little bit of heat not something where it's hot but just that backdrop, to just give it a little bit extra cooking Italian with Joe mm, flavor. So I've got a quarter of a teaspoon hot red pepper flake. Now I want some flavors of Italy, right? Oh, so here we've got one clove of garlic. So the garlic, again, won't be a main staple. It's going to give it a great backdrop. It's going to give it that earthy flavor. Mm, it's going to be great. Now we're going to go even more earthy and grassy, you know, that herb. Oh, we're going to go thyme. So we're going to go about two and a half to three teaspoons depending what you get on time. Now remember, if you go with dried herbs, they're twice as concentrated as fresh. So this is fresh, so you figure I'm gonna go two to three, depending on what I yield out of that. If you are using dry, you know, the most you would go is one and a half teaspoons. Now we're gonna need some parsley. In this case, I went to the store and they had fresh, flat Italian parsley. Often people think of parsley as just a, a decoration to finish a plate, but I'll tell you, parsley is a delicious herb. It's grassy, it's really earthy, uh, and it's got a little citrus to it. It's got a little citrus kick to it. It's gonna be great. So we're gonna use about a quarter of a cup of freshly chopped parsley. Same rule, if you're going with dried, you would use about half of that. Now we need to dip something in this and scoop it up, and there's nothing better than endive. So you guys can use whatever you want. You could toast anything. You could toast some bread, that would be fantastic, right? Or you could take different vegetables. I love the endive because the endive has got, it's literally like nature spoon. You can dip it in there and it's strong enough to where it'll hold up in the dip. Now these are Belgian uh, endive, kind of cool, right? So I've got four of these for today. You can use different varieties of endive. They're gonna be great, depending on the size. I mean, these are medium to maybe a little bit bigger of an endive, so they're perfect. So today we're gonna use four medium size endive, and that'll give us a lot of leaves. Now we're gonna need some seasoning, right? So we've got salt. Anybody that watches our show knows I love to use pink Himalayan. It's earthy, briny. It's sexy. In regards to salt, we're gonna use about a half of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. We're gonna want some fresh ground pepper. Always go with fresh ground. When you grind it, it dries out the pepper almost immediately. So always go with fresh ground because the oils are, that's where your flavor is. And last but not least, guys, we're gonna need some olive oil. I'm thinking I want something Italian because it's an Italian cooking show, right? I want some earthy, grassy, hmm, peppery. Something from Puglia, best oil, olive oil, the extra virgin comes from, uh, from Puglia, Italy. Where would I go? Huh, what would I do? Oh, ding, ding. Guys, my family owns an olive farm in Italy, in Puglia, Italy. It's just above the heel. We co-op with a whole group of farms to bring you some of the best olive oil in the world. You guys can click above or below in the description. You can go to my website, Cooking Italian with Joe, or you can go to my Facebook, Cooking Italian with Joe, and just click buy it now. We'll literally drop ship you a bottle or a series of bottles right to your front doorstep. You know, I look at that, I think, I'm taking a trip to Italy right in a bottle. Ingredients are done, let's start having some fun. So the first thing I wanna do is, I wanna get that oven preheated to 375 degrees. Next fun part and tip, I'm gonna to try to use a oven safe dish. The dish that I'm gonna serve it in, I'm gonna mix it all right in that dish. So that'll save you time, and obviously save you up on some cleanup. So I've got this beautiful clay terracotta pot. Um, with a beautiful glazing. I bought it in Italy, just gorgeous. So I'm gonna use this today to make and present our hot ricotta dip. Guys, first step, take your dish 
and go ahead and put your ricotta cheese right in it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put my red pepper flake right on top of the ricotta cheese. Next, I'm gonna take my salt. I'm gonna use about a half of a teaspoon. Pink Himalayan, it's sexy. Next, I'm gonna use about a half of a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Now I'm gonna add about three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And I like to use the microplaner because I like to get it in a smaller grind. That way it melts and incorporates better with my final dip. Now guys, I wanna put my thyme in. So I'm just gonna take the leaves of the thyme and I'm looking for about two and a half teaspoons, maybe three teaspoons of thyme. Easy way to do this, just take your stem, pull backwards on it. Next guys, I'm gonna hit my garlic. This is my vampire repellent right here, so. Also, you know what, this is my dating advice. So listen, you take a huge hunk of garlic, maybe two, you put it in the dish, maybe you rub it on your hands a little bit on date number one, and what's gonna happen, that special someone's gonna go, oh my God, that's disgusting, is that garlic? And you're gonna go, yeah, I'm telling you what, she's done, it's over. But if she says, oh my God, is that garlic? Can I smell your hands? That's delicious. I'm telling you, good things are about to happen. That's all I'm saying. So I'm gonna take my garlic press and just give that a good squeeze. Next, I want a quarter cup or so of my parsley. So real simple, just take a knife and just try to get some of the leaves off the top. This will save you time from trying to destem it. Oh, the aroma, you can really hit it. Real simple, guys, right here, you're just gonna bunch everything up. Get a nice sharp knife, and then just keep them fingers in. That way you don't get parsley and a finger. And then just turn the pile the other way. And I'll do it three different ways. I'm gonna put my parsley right in. Next, I need a splash of olive oil. I'm thinking Vito and Joe. So we're gonna hit about a tablespoon to two of the olive oil. And now, guys, nothing complicated. I wanna do a really good stir. It's been about two minutes, guys. I did a nice slow stir. I'm gonna use a little mini spatula here because I wanna get everything off the side. I don't want it to burn. Now, guys, we're gonna finish it off. Oh my God, I'm gonna use a little Vito and Joe's. So I'm gonna give it a little drizzle of olive oil over the top. And then just to up the delicious factor here, I'm gonna hit it with some Parmesan cheese right over the top. Oh, how good does that look? I'm thinking right now, who the hell needs to cook that? You know what I mean? I think I could eat that raw. That looks pretty good. Realistically, that heat in the oven is gonna add magic to this dish. There's no doubt about it. All right, a couple of tips. Now I'm gonna put this in the middle rack, 375 for 20 minutes. And then what I'm gonna do is the last 10, I'm gonna hit the upper broil to get that top nice and warm and crispy and brown. Keep an eye on it. A couple other tips that make this come out absolutely fantastic. There's a red button on this YouTube channel, right on this video, right there. Click that red button, that's the subscribe button. When you subscribe to our channel, what it does is, hey, any trips, we got a, a trip coming up to Italy here in a few weeks, uh, any new blogs, any new recipes, it'll come right to your notification box. And, and I always say to you guys every week, it means a lot to me when you subscribe to our channel, and hey, make some part of the family, you know what I'm saying? As far as the olive oil goes, I'm sure you've already ordered some bottles, and I appreciate that, molto grazie. Now we're gonna pop this in the oven, like I said, 15, 20 minutes, 375, middle rack. I'm gonna use my hot ricotta cheese burn prevention unit which is my timer here. I'm gonna set that guy for 20 minutes. Now guys, I wanna get my end dive going while that's cooking. So I wanna clean up the tops and the ends. I'm gonna grab myself a colander right here. I'm gonna put them in here so we can rinse them off. So real simple, just cut the bottom off so you don't have that brown on there. And then you're just gonna take your colander and just pop each one in there individually. They'll come apart perfect. And you guys take it down as far as you want it. I'm gonna try to use as much as I can. I like the bottom baby endive because it's a little bit gentler in flavor and it's a little sweeter. Guys, the endive are all separated. Now what I'm gonna do is take some really cold water and rinse everything off and then I'm gonna put everything right in the refrigerator. Guys, I've got my endive out of the refrigerator so I'm gonna set those up. The aroma in the kitchen, I'll tell you, is unbelievable. And then I'm gonna set this right on top. Guys, always our favorite time, right? Taste time. The aroma, first off, in here is just fantastic. Oh, and I've got the endive off to the side. I'm gonna grab one of my favorite ones, my little ones. We're gonna go right in there and start eating. Guys, I just pulled it out. See the bubbles? Oh, how beautiful is that? All right, so we're gonna let that settle just for about 15 minutes. Let it cool just a bit. We'll get everything else ready to go. You guys can see that crisp Parmesan cheese on the top. I'm gonna go right in there. Look how fantastic that is. The goo, the cheese. You see how it's still kinda soft? Oh, and see the cream, that milk coming out of it? That's what you want right there. 
Oh, you guys ready? We got cooking Italian with Joe Taste Division right there. Oh, I wish I could do it for you guys. The aroma first, I mean, my mouth is watering. You get that Parmesan cheese, the garlic, the thyme, the ricotta cheese, just absolutely delicious. Mmm, the olive oil. Mmm, mmm, -hmm. oh. oh boy, it's good. First off, the texture of that crunchy Parmesan on the top is perfect. And you're getting hit right away with the garlic and the thyme. And then the ricotta cheese just comes along the backdrop. We've got the flavor of the olive oil. Mm. Guys, you know what? Honestly, I'm not so sure the first one was enough to appropriately and properly give you the deliciousness of this. Okay, one more. We're going for one more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm mean, going to love the end of it because it's light. I mean, it's got a nice light flavor to it, that texture, and it pairs so good with the... Uh, with the thyme. One of the best parts of this is that delicate flavor of the parsley. So as you're chewing it, you start to get that a little bit of herb, you know, that little bit of citrus, almost as if you put like a, which isn't a bad idea, but almost if you put a little bit of a, like a zest of lemon in there. Mm. Boy, that's good. Now, if I could get me a bottle of Prosecco right now, chilled with a little glass, I'm thinking we're home run, you know what I mean? Guys, that's a recipe you're definitely gonna make a few times. Now, what else is there to do in this video? Oh, I know, subscribe to our channel. Guys, remember, hit that red button, subscribe to our channel. Hey, make you part of the family, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking you guys need some olive oil, extra virgin from Italy. Take a trip with me, Vito and Joe's. Grab yourself a couple of bottles right on our website or on our Facebook, just click buy it now. And guys, my most important tip always at the end of our videos, you gotta get around that table with your family. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you gotta get around once a month or more with mom, dad, your grandparents, God bless you if they're still with you. You know, celebrate your heritage, set some traditions. They're gonna last you a lifetime. I know they did for me. Hey, from my kitchen years, until next week, mwah, bon appetito.